Yeah. Okay. So Zoe, little Zoe is running a session today. She wanted to talk about things that you can make at home from stuff that you already have. So we have like family of five. We have tons of rubbish, even though we try not to have too much trash. We still have loads of trash and loads of thing around, things around our house. And Zoe's our little inventor. So this is her room and she's going to talk to you about some things that she's made. Take it away, Zoe. Uh, I made this and what is it? it with my grandpa, it's a tree. And um, we made it out of um, planks, old wood things that were meant to be for a fence. And then um, he got some of this. Um, some I think it's like it was just there lying around from his hardware store that he goes to. And we got these. And we used some old paint yeah. and we painted it all. And then grandpa helped us stick it all together so we could make a tree out of stuff that was all in grandpa's backyard. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Yeah. And what's the next thing? This one, so I made it, um, I made it um, with um, magazines and you get the magazines and you cut out stuff and then you just glue them on and make like collage collages. And my mom made this one for me. And Cause Zoe likes all things that are jungle related. And it's got like, a pelican out of a magazine and uh, like whatever this is grass and there's like plants from plant magazine thing and um stuff from magazines and old paper as well okay and uh are we following you outside yeah okay now we're gonna follow zoe outside but she set up a little studio for everyone Oh, Zoe, we should quickly say as we walk past, what's in here? Do you want to tell people what we keep in here? So in here we keep old scrap paper. Um, so I think this is from like a beer bottle. Coffee. Coffee bottle. Coffee bag. Coffee bag. <laughs> and this is toilet paper, um, wrapping that we keep to cut to find mix stuff. This is T2 English breakfast. This black tea in a bag, and this is another T2 one. And what do we do with it all? Um, like we cut it out, and um, this is what my mum was doing. We make like photos and stuff. This it's really cool and it's fun. Okay. Um, so your hands do get very glowy. Yeah. Pippi. Okay. Yeah. Pippi's Pippi's over there having a nap. Hi, Pippi. Okay, so outside, what are you going to talk us through outside, Zoe? So, um, outside, I have this. So where did this come from? What is this that you're so showing us? It's, um, it's like a, it's a toy guitar. So you get, so this is a plastic cracker container. And from rice crackers? Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes you get on um, other plastic containers, like, maybe um a plastic meat container that was washed yeah and what do you do with it talk to us um, about what you've done put the rubber bands on so as you see here just put the rubber band on and then it makes like a cool sound and yeah and if you want you could cut out some other plastic and tape um a thing to it, so it's like a like a handle. Yeah. Yeah. So the next thing are these painted jars. So if you look at the bush behind that, this one, yeah. So um, I painted, I painted these leaves. Oh, that has a spider on it. Yeah. <laughs> and we just had a spider on a leaf, so she's just gonna get another one. Okay. So, yeah. Um. So this, you get the leaf and you paint it, you paint the leaf and then you like press it down. Uh, yeah, and it's really um, cool. But um, I think what would be better if you like, painted like a background, that would be kind of cool. I didn't paint a background on this because I didn't know. This next one is, um, it's, it's, um another one that i did out of old jars and you just paint it and then um there's paint markers or you could use like a sharpie or permanent marker and just draw something on it um 
before. So this one my sister made, and this one's like a little lolly or money jar. You could have. So uh, this one, um, it's like twiny. So you from bread bags. Yes, from <coughs> Baker's Delight bread bags, and mm -hmm. it's very yummy bread. <laughs> What's your favorite thing at Baker's Delight? Um, hair and cheese Danish. Right. <laughs> And what do you do with these twisty ties? So, as you can see here, I'm kind of like twisting them up together. So then you could get um, some. Oh. Yeah, she's just run away. <laughs> she's coming back. <laughs> oh, cool. Yep, come. So, um, then you get some flowers and you could tie the. So, you gotta pull from the bottom, very bottom of the flower thing. And just tie it around, and then you could keep on doing that with all your bread bread tins, and make like I don't know a line that you could just hang up somewhere. That would be really pretty. Cool. And it might be frustrating, but it also would be really cool. Nice. Good job. So that's what she's done. So, oh, okay, yeah, and you need to get the lawn, lawn flowers, you need to get them from the very end, otherwise, it's really hard to do it. Okay, um, another thing is these. No. Um, also, another thing that you can do with these is you can make hair for these people. So okay, so where, where did these lids come from? They came from milk bottles or other bottles. Um, yeah, and what you do is you just you just get it and draw like a smiley face. You could draw like an angry face. Okay, hold it up and show you. You could draw any face that you want. Is this an angry face or a smiley face? It's like an, it's like a, I don't know. It's like an angry, angry, um, black eyed, um, face. Okay, yeah. Because they've just been in a fight and they lost. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then. And then, and then you can play around with them. And if you want them to have hair, you just get these again. Oops, go away, B. And then you could make hair, and you could get some tape and tape it to them. Nice and one. And you could play around with them. And if you would like them to have a body, you could just get that and cut out some plastic to make sense. Or you can use the twine for legs and feet. Okay, now I see you've also put out a whole heap of these tags. Could you show one up to the camera for me? I don't know. I think they also come from bread. Yeah, yeah. So they want to make sure the bread is very safe inside its plastic. And so what do you do with these? Um, you could make, uh, so you could make like, um, as you see, and you can make like that. Or you could try and make a square. So that's like kind of like a square thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's kind of like a puzzle. You're making a 3D puzzle. Yeah, and you could also, um, on your people, you could also use these, which would be cool, like a oh, they I see if you wacky, glue it. wacky hair. Oh. And kind of like a mohawk or something. Okay, now you've got one last thing to show us. What's what's this last thing over here? So, so this was the chip packet that we were talking about yesterday okay, that we weren't sure. Okay, we weren't sure where this packet went in the recycling. So I think um, we were told to cut it up and put it in the recycling. But before I could get around to cutting it up, Zoe put her hands on it. And what, talk to us through what you've made out of it, Zoe. Um, so I've made, um, so there's a plant inside there. Um, and I got the, and there's an old plant leaf on the floor. So I cut the plant leaf, the plant, the old leaf in half. And I didn't cut it, I ripped it. Oh, you could also cut it. And um, I put it on this. And this you put two eyes on there? So, yeah, I got a text and put two eyes on it. And I got the stem, as you can see here. There's a little stem. Yeah. And I taped the stem um, to here, like actual whiskers, like three kind of cool whiskers. And it's like the noise. Um, I didn't get to doing this, but you could. Yeah. Um, like get. I'm just gonna hold it up over here. Cut so out a bit. stuff and put it on top of the nose so you don't see like the tape. In your okay. Oh, and it's like a chip packet, or if if you just want to hand it up on your wall. Okay. Nice. 
All right. And then you had one final thing because we've run out of hand sanitizer in our house like everyone else has. Zoe's refilling her hand sanitizer bottle, aren't you? Yeah, you can fill so so once your hand sanitizer bottle is all the way up to there and you can't get anything out anymore, you're just gonna um get put soap and water inside it and shake it around. But if it's really hard to shake it around, then you probably shouldn't you should put more water in inside it because you don't wanna you wanna make sure there's not too much soap. And then you just Nice. It's not very good, it's quite watery. <laughs> And then you just back it, and then instead of having to walk all the way to the top, you just make you just have it. <laughs> you should still wash your hands, like. <laughs> so that's it. Um, let me just hands those. We'll come back in here where it's not so sunny. Oh yeah, well, we can we can show that one um, another time. So does anyone have any questions? That's Zoe's little. Crafting with Zoe for everyone. <laughs> Amazing. I think I'm just going to unmute everyone and we can have a little bit of a chat if anyone wants to have any feedback. Um, you should all, your microphone should be working now. Hey Zoe. Hi Zoe. Hi. It's Lily. <laughs> Good crafty. That's given us lots of ideas. <laughs> if you've got a wine bottle in the recycle that we might need to go and um, have a play with. <laughs> Maybe yeah. just you think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll trying our best. <laughs> <laughs> um, has anyone else reused anything in their homes recently? You've oh, yeah, given yeah, us so yeah. many good ideas, Zoe. Lily's Lily's had a, a good repurposing the other day, didn't you? What did you do? Well, Lily's gotten the stage fright. It's okay. You don't have to. Um I used a old jar and just put some flowers in it for the garden. Yeah. Perfect. That's cool, yeah. You I might need to add some leaves on it. Yeah. Zoe's thinking of selling her jars out the front of our house. Nice. <laughs> yeah, setting up setting up a little micro business on the side. <laughs> I reckon you want to make some good money on the hand sanitizer soap. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> That was cool. This side has all the bubbles, and you know how yeah, it's meant lots to be of bubbles. white on one side. Yeah, it's really hard. To yeah, yours is just full of bubbles. It's got white. Do you have hands. anything else you'd like to say to anyone? Um, if you're really bored, get like some sticks and get rope and get cut. Right. Yeah, look at they get some rope with the sticks. And then um just um make uh like a little and then like get these ropes that have whatever what are they called? Like hooks kind of on them and put them on and then you can put your toys on there and they've got a little zip line. This is lovely toys, that's cool. Is a great idea. Also, make an avocado plant. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about that one later. Can't, can't oh. have all of our ideas out in one shot. That's just a preview for next <laughs> time. <laughs> We've got to get people entertained. We've got a long way, a long time getting through all this. <laughs> we're we I like your zipline idea because we've got a few teddies in our front tree for people to do bear hunts, but I reckon those teddies might need a zipline. I think that's a very good oh. idea. Yeah, that's an awesome <laughs> idea out the front. We've got some in our windows, but I like the idea of putting them out the mm. front too. Yeah. Yeah, good one. <laughs> you guys should go and film that and put it up and show us. We could do that. We could, we could, couldn't we? All right. It's all right. That's Lily's job for the afternoon. Make a zip line for Teddy's. Yes. <laughs> awesome. We've got an activity. <laughs> Great. <laughs> all right. Zoe, should we go? Yeah. Um, let's leave it right here so thanks everyone this has been sustainable family home uh, my name's zoe anderson thank you so much to zoe the craft queen
<laughs> over on Zoom for showing us around today and inspiring us. We'll be back at the same time tomorrow at 2.30. Bye, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.